guys, I'm going to be telling you guys all the time that my gut feeling saved me from possibly something terrifying, so let's get into it. So, um, it was one night in, I think, late December or early January of this year, and, like, I, like, go and, like, do, sh like, sh just kind of, like, stretch a bit in the driveway, like, it's something I've just gotten a habit of a few years ago, and it was dark out. And I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to go out there. And that's what I did. And then I um, was out there for a little bit. And then all of a sudden, like, I just see these three people in hoods start, like, walking. Like, I'm two to three houses down from the corner, which would be that way. So basically left in my house and or right in some situations i don't know um and i once i seen these three people it was a tall male wearing i think he was wearing the black hoodie there was a probably about teenage or maybe like adult female wearing um red no, the kid was wearing the red. Yeah, the kid was wearing the red. The white hoodie, and there was a kid with them wearing a red hoodie. And once I seen them, I just knew something was seriously wrong. Like, I had this feeling, like, deep in my gut, and, like, my stomach started to hurt really bad. And, hey, me. And... I'm like, okay, something is seriously wrong here. Something is not right. And so I decide, right then and there, within a second's decision, to jump behind my mom's car because, like, I'm terrified at this point. Like, I feel like I'm literally going to vomit. Um, and that's what I do. And then a few, like, seconds later, maybe about, like, ten seconds later, they're, like, kind of, like, look my way. And I'm like, no. And, but they didn't see me. Well, that time they didn't see me. Um... I just had this gut feeling that they, like, I thought it was over. I just thought it was kind of weird. And I thought it was kind of over. And then they went that way, coming from that way. So, like, you know, and then they came from that way, which is the way they went to coming back, the way they came from. And I went to go duck behind my mom's car. This time, they dead stopped and just stared at me. And I literally, like, you could not see their faces. It's all black, like. I wanted to throw up, and then, well, I got behind my mom's car, right, but, like, they noticed me ducking down, and then they started literally sneaking up on me, like, they weren't trying to make it obvious, like, my neighbor's car was, like, parked, like, there's, like, two driveways um, at my neighbor's house, one is, like, you know, like, right, like, in front of the garage, and then one's kind of, like, on the side of the road, if that makes any sense, and... My, neighbor, my one neighbor's car was parked right there, and they started sneaking up behind it, and as soon as I seen it, my heart, like, it feels like my heart, like, honestly just dropped into my stomach, and I'm like, okay, well, I need to get out of here, and so I run inside my house, like, I couldn't go through the front door, because the front door was, like, all, like, you know, closed up because of winter time to keep the house warm, and... So I book it, and I'm like, okay, well, they're probably not gone, and I'm like, something is really gonna happen, like, I've had that feeling. And then, a minute later, after I get inside, I'm terrified, I don't tell my mom, and then I go to check out the front door, and they're literally looking for me, I wanted to freaking cry, like, I was like, trying not to scream, like, my heart was like, pumping out of my chest, like, I'm like, okay, well, like, they were literally looking house to house for me, I'm like, they were looking in everybody's yard, Especially over on this side, between the th between my house and the two next to me, and I just thought it was like really creepy. Like they were like just searching, even the little kid was. And at this point, I tell my mom she's probably like, "Oh, they're just probably looking for something else." But the situation seems too sketchy, though. Like it seems too sketchy because like, okay, if they were looking for something else. But why would they sneak up on me and stuff? But the part 
that I'm about to tell you guys in a minute does not go with the theory that they were looking for something else. So, I mean, obviously they seen the house I ran into because they were right there. So I'd go like a few, like two, three minutes later, God knows how long this is taking place. And I go turn on the front porch and look out there and they're standing in front of my house, all three of them, hands in pockets with their hood up and you can't even see their face. And okay, but if they were, wait, I'm gonna stop right there. But if they were looking for something, why would they do that? Why? You wouldn't, you wouldn't do that if you were actually looking for something else and not being sketchy. Um, and at this point, I'm freaking out. I literally scream. My mom goes to look out the front door. And once they see her, they started walking. But they kind of stopped on my street. Like, not even 50 yards away from my house. Going towards the end, I was telling you guys that they were walking by. Make sense? So... Um, I just had this gut feeling that they were going to come back, they were going to do something. And I got my dad to, like, go out there with, like, a metal bat, and then they were, like, gone for good. I don't know, like, if it was a prank, but even then, why would it be a prank? Like, it just seems all too, like, real. You know? And at that point, like, I was just really creeped out for them for, like, forever after that. Like, it was warm outside. It wasn't, like, freezing, because, like where I lived, like, winter was really warm this year, like, it was, like, spring weather most of the days, some days it wasn't, but a lot of days it was, like, spring weather, like, you could literally, tears, sorry, my kitten, okay, so, um, I was, like, really, like, creeped out but like I like hardly got any sleep that night and like for the next nights after that because like I was just honestly too terrified like I just had this gut feeling that it wasn't over yet but I knew nothing really happened the next few nights except for some weird stuff so about a week or two later I was like okay I'm just gonna go back outside at night but just keep my guard up and have hairspray on me and no, we don't, we don't climb in there, baby. Taters! Whatever, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, and, there was, there's two cars that kind of like, there was a black car, which I seen a lot of posts about. Could have been the same one, could have been a complete different one. I'm not going to just assume it was the same one. Um, and it like went by slowly a few times that same like area that they were walking by and seeing me originally at like they were walking past my street like you know what I mean and then there was a red truck which always just just kind of always goes past my house I mean it could just it's probably just someone just like you know but like it always goes by slowly but like I'm, I'm, I don't try not to think anything of it kind of just because I'm paranoid you know, so, nothing really happened besides that, and just some weird, like, hooded person, but, like, they weren't doing anything sketchy, and they, they were just walking, not near me or anything, and I don't know if it was related, I mean, chances are it's not, because, like, if it was, like, they would have seen me and they would have done something again, probably, like, you know, so, it's not probably related, I just... I kind of, like, just wanted to say that because I'm not just gonna, you know, go and just make things up because, no, we don't climb on laptops, baby. Okay, so, um, that's basically all I have to say for the story time. Sorry, it was kind of short, and I was kind of off track. I'm just kind of, like, you know, like, just... Kind of a bit sleepy today, even though I got a good night's sleep last night. I don't know. I just feel like good today, so. You guys are, and guys, don't pick on me if you're wearing a hoodie when it's like 80 degrees out. I don't know, I'm just cold. No. I'm going to stay with me for a minute. So, guys, I will see you guys in another video.
And hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Okay, go ahead. And bye, guys.